Diego. are wasting my time. Come on, you worms! I need to work harder if I'm going to win the battle of 100 hands. I need a professional, a real champion. Lucky for you, a champion has arrived. Drakios sent me to train with you. Interesting. I need to practice with another competitor to officially enter. This battle, the Battle of 100 Hands, is the most grueling contest in the Greek world. The body count is high and the chance of success low. Are you sure that's something you want to train for? Killing's what I do. And I do it well. You have the right attitude, I'll give you that. But you can't simply power your way to victory in the Battle of 100 Hands. It takes preparation. If this battle is so difficult, why enter it at all? I'm not from a family of means, champion, and have always dreamed about the Hundred Hands purse. My father, my brother tried to win it years ago. Even my mother entered last time. And now, they're all gone. Dead. You want the Drachmi? I don't care about the Drachmi, not now. I need to save my family's legacy from the edge of yet another champion's blade. I need to win and become like a hero of old. If the battle's so hard, why do you think you'll win? I train at all hours until my body gives out. Before bed, I make offerings to Ares. I wake in the night to strategize, and then... I rise in the morning to do it all again. That's an impressive amount of work. If I don't win the battle, at least I'll know I've done all I can. 
Let's say I want to fight in the Battle of 100 Hands. Then fight me, and prove you are a worthy training companion. You asked for it. Come on, Mistyos! Stings, doesn't it, champion? I felt worse! Are you even trying? You need to push me! That hurt! Ooh, I made you angry! You're cute when you're angry! What? <laughs> I'm not angry! Of course not! Nice move! Seems you are the champion I've been looking for. A real Spartan, if I'm right. You are? I sensed it in the way you fought. Aggressive, but not reckless. My name's Roxana. Cassandra. Next on the agenda is archery training. Are you ready? I'm ready. So eager. Well, a shipment of wolves has wrecked on shore nearby. They were meant to be part of the battle, but now they're our practice targets. Let's go hunting. We're a safe distance here. Now shoot these cursed wolves before they start taking down the local children. I'll see if there isn't a thing or two I can learn from you. It's nice to be out here. Just the two of us. Is that right? There were a lot of onlookers when we sparred. You'll be happy to know the rest of our training will be more... private. On with the hunt. I can always use more pelts. A true champion. I knew it. Ready your bow. All the wolves are dead. You elevate archery to an art form. Even Sophocles couldn't captivate me like that. How much more training will we do before I can enter the battle? What? You don't want to spend more time with me? This time with you has been... I don't know what to say. Say no more. In a strange way, I see my own reflection in you. Yes. We've only just met, and yet we have a... connection. You're a unique creature, Cassandra. There's one more step to our training. 
Where to? My house. Shall we continue? Now that we've saved the children of Idre from a pack of hungry wolves, I guess we can move on? You jest, but that was a real nuisance we dealt with. Your choices have an impact, Cassandra. Your actions have already benefited the people here. So, shall we complete our training? We do have unfinished business. The training? Or the company? We've been having so much fun. Fighting each other, killing wolves. Go on. I think you'll like this next challenge. Yeah? We're going to have a foot race. First one to the high point on the island wins. I'm ready. You said race to the high point? Yes. The plateau on the other side of town. When I say go, the race is on. Three, two, one. Fast, even with all that gear. It's easy to forget how beautiful it is here. When you're training so hard, you mean? I'm trying to restore balance to my life and to the Greek world, to find closure. But there are people standing in my way I must take care of first. And I think winning the Battle of One Hundred Hands will help. What makes you think that? Call it a hunch. I come up here to remind myself to live in the moment. I can see how that might work. Varnavas there was a sea monster living in your ear, he'd believe you. He sounds like a real dimwit. Actually, he's one of the most genuine people I've ever met. That's Melos Island right there, where so many warriors go to die. At the battle, we may have to fight each other, and only one of us will survive. I thought you came up here to live in the moment. How's this for in the moment? Let's make it more than a moment. Must you wear so many layers? Comes with the job, I guess. <laughs> I guess this is goodbye. Until the battle, I mean. Let's not make this difficult. I can't help thinking. We don't have to cross swords. You could skip the battle as easy as I can, but you won't. You're right. <laughs> goodbye, Roxana.
μάλλον το εμαυτό Warrior! We should talk. I'm at your disposal. I'm ready to compete. Indeed. Roxana tells me your training went well. Meet me inside the city gates. The battle will begin soon. Only the finest goods. Fresh blood. By the look of these warriors, this battle of 100 hands is going to be one for the ages. Indeed, I think it will have people talking for years. Your gear could be the difference between victory or death. Don't forget to visit Jernarios for the best weapons and armor. Thanks, Drakion. Prepare, warriors. The battle will commence soon. <laughs> Mr. Sarai! We are gathered here again for the battle of 100 hands! Indeed! Impressive warriors from all over the Greek world have come to test their might and skill against each other. Whether it is the sharpest sword in the Athenian army, for the broadest shield Sparta can master, all now stand alone against the many. At our climax, the final two will face off on a special battlefield. 
but only one will be called champion. Let the battle of 100 hands begin! Remember that horn! You'll hear it throughout the battle, marking your progress! Now, fight! for more. are dead. Keep moving. These people are clearly working together. The other contestants must be somewhere else.
Another horde, almost finished. Life for sport. I haven't seen Roxana among the dead.
only imagine the might of all these warriors aligned against the Count. Instead, we came to Melus to slaughter each other over a sack of Rahmi. Indeed there is! Patience, Cassandra! Patience! Tell me, Drakios! Is it Roxana? Is she alive? Your final challenger approaches! Come! We will finish this in the shadow of the volcano in the east! It seems like the training has paid off. I was about to say the same. Enough chatter. Our patrons demand a champion. Finish this. We can lay down our weapons. There's nothing more to prove. This is outrageous. Roxana, only one of you can win the battle and become champion. We don't have to kill each other. Think of the riches, Roxana. Indeed, everything you've dreamed of is almost within your grasp. We can walk away. Only one of you can walk away a legend. The stakes were clear from the beginning, Cassandra. Don't do this. I'm so close. Enough! The battle must end now! No. Roxana, we decide how this ends, not him. I'm beginning to think there are things more important than riches and glory. Join me on my ship. There are more adventures for us out on the Aeon. I will! I will join you! No! You must finish the battle! It's over, Drakios. It's over when I say it's over. Guards! Thank you, champion. So, I'll see you at my ship? Yes. I'm ready to go wherever the sea wind takes us. Wherever it is, adventure awaits. For both of us now.
Ready for sailing! Ready when you are, Commander! survive the worst storms and the toughest battles, but she was meant to sail on water as glorious as this. We'll be waiting for you, Commander.
seems strangely exciting. You know, there's a Ancient regions of the world, the land of wind, a truly fascinating and mysterious civilization. Genius is a head of Should I visit them? Only ruins remain of their civilization now. It has been lost for hundreds, if not thousands of years. But your journey has exposed mysteries which have left me with no answers. Perhaps you have discovered something I know. Sails up! Ready sails for docking! Befka. Best keep an eye on my drachmi. Minotaur warrior! Welcome to Pefka, home of the Minotaur and our world famous Minotaur tunics. Tunics, Minotaur tunics. One size fits all. Uh, I don't see how one size can fit everyone. My name's Arsenios. If you want to know how to defeat the Minotaur and become the Greek world's most famous warrior, then this is the tour for you. You sell it well, kid. Let's go on your tour. You're not worried someone's going to steal your world-famous Minotaur tunics? Who would? There are tunics for Minotaurs. As you can see from the statues, the Minotaurs have fit some ball. So don't forget this exclusive tour, team. And that includes hey, to stab. Particularly the short objects. They say it's his only weakness. Behold, an exact replica of the Minotaur. Actual Minotaur size may vary. Where's the rest of him? Up the hill. Some of the workers lost control moving it into place. It killed two of them. Horns tore them clean apart. Well, not clean apart. Sounds like even Minotaur statues are deadly. Oh, they're the deadliest. They say the sales himself was killed by a Minotaur statue. I've heard many tales of the Minotaur. They usually make the sales sound more heroic. Well, Sparta's not known for its quality education, is it? Next thing you tell me Medusa's real? <sighs> Let's just continue the tour. Hey, in Pefka, the hero's always right. This way. Look out! That rock's actually a Minotaur dropping. He must have just been through here. I can't believe we missed him. Here's another helpful tip you won't get on any other tour. The Minotaur sales isn't the morning person. Trust me, I know my Minotaur. I've been the in these warriors from all over the Aegean come to Pefka to face the mighty Minotaur, hoping to claim his head as the ultimate prize. So far, well, <clears throat> he's killed all of them. But drinking freshly squeezed Minotaur hoof elixir will no doubt give you the oomph you need to triumph. Where does this Minotaur hoof elixir come from? The hoof of the Minotaur, obviously. It's right there in the name. Uh huh. What does this elixir do besides um, give me? Oomph. Depends what ails you, friend. Sore throat? Slow healing wounds? Itchy beats on parts unmentionable. Will it cure the regret of taking unnecessary tours? Yes. And let me guess. You've got a vial ready for purchase. It's just like Petter always said. Never leave home without the ground-up hooves of a mythical creature. You never know when you'll need some minotaur hoof. Elixir. You've made a wise purchase, my physically responsible friend. Now come, there's so much more to see. And 
show concludes our tour. That's the tour? I didn't learn anything about the Minotaur. My customers are always satisfied. You can pay my associates on your way out. Please enjoy the rest of your stay here in Pefka. You're not going to get one drachmi out of me. No! Not one! I'm getting all of it! Get her! Don't damage your gear! for your fantastic friendship tour. A pleasure doing business with you. Hey! Yeah? What's it like being a Mystios? <laughs> Could be worse.
Χαίρετε. Και καλώ ήρθατε στο πίσω. Come on. Should be extra careful. A mighty specimen approaches. Are you ready for honor, for glory, for certain death? I'm ready for two thirds of that. Then you see combat with the Minotaur! No self respecting Minotaur would live in Lato. He does. Here? Yes. In Lato? Yes. This Lato? I assure you. The beast lives here, and he wants nothing more than a wealthy, a uh, worthy opponent to battle. If you slay the Minotaur, you would be Theseus reborn, and you'd get to take home the prize of Fefka! Your Minotaur must die. Sounds like we have another contender! It's time for the trials of the Minotaur! Three trials. Did you just say Minotaur pre-trials? To face the Minotaur, 
you must first prove yourself worthy by completing three heroic trials. We can't let people fresh off the Teremis casually stroll to their deaths. Kafka policy. What do these pre-trials require me to do, exactly? There's the trial of strength, where you fight the greatest warrior in all of Crete. The trial of accuracy, which only a keen eye can overcome. And the trial of endurance, where you must brave the water. One of your trials is swimming? That's... Ugh. This is a scheme to fleece me. <gasps> Mystios! I... that's... How could you even think such a thing? You're a terrible person. What exactly is the prize of Pevka? Why, it's limitless riches, of course. Warriors defeated by the Minotaur no longer need their drachmi. So we collect their coins into a grand prize that only a champion who kills the beast may claim. Your grand prize is drachmi looted from the dead? Mystios, please believe me. Many of the coins go straight to the Lato school for children whose parents were tragically killed by the Minotaur. I see. I'll do your trials. Pre-trials! I'll do your pre-trials. But then the Minotaur's head is mine. Fantastic! Don't forget to collect tokens of success from the trial masters to prove your victories. Ugh! Another some people here to save us all from Pefka's long queues and overpriced Minotaur merchandise. Ah, may I introduce my wife, Cory, a rare beauty and so, so loud in front of my new friend. <laughs> Please, Leandros, there are more important things than glory. Not everyone with a sword seeks glory. Family comes before all else. Exactly, Mestios. That's what I keep telling this cowardly slime in the shape of my husband. Hey! It's... It's our daughter. Your daughter? Amara. She ran off days ago. I'm sure she's... She's just fine. Don't worry about Amara. Not when there's a Minotaur to slay. Grrr! Slash! Slash! Big fight! Lots of blood! Think of the fame, Mestios. Think of winning the prize of Pefka! Please. Trust me, champion. Nothing is what it seems in Bafka. Solving one problem may just solve all the others. Go, my legendary friend. The pre-trials of the Minotaur await. Who among you is strong? Then I say, prove yourselves!
Here a poorly muscled challenger. You are here to have your feeble frame crushed in my pre-trial of strength, yes? My feeble frame might be harder to crush than you think. <laughs> so brave, pretending you have a chance against a warrior as strong and handsome as me. We may fight for my token, yes. But maybe you would prefer to remain uncrushed and buy my token instead. Yes? No. We fight. Are you sure you would not prefer to spend your shiny drachmi? We fight. Then let the crushing begin. You should have bought my token, yes? <laughs> Very good price. Now you must pay a new price. Death! I will use your bones to pick up other bones from my teeth. <laughs> This isn't what winning feels like! Crush! 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 What... what am I feeling? What is this? The shame of defeat. This is defeat? Winning is better. Yes, the token of strength is yours. Have a wonderful day, and please don't hit me again. I need all of the trial tokens. Stay away, but I warn you, 
pay to pass this trial, potential champion. The trial of endurance has seen more deaths than all the other trials combined. Were the others drunk when they jumped? Actually, yes. Very unprofessional of them. Should you survive the champion's dive, you'll need to retrieve my trial token from a chest in the darkest depths of the water below. Your token will be mine. No, please, I urge you, pay me for my token. The watery dangers you must otherwise face to retrieve it are too great. You won't get one drachmi from me. I'll do the trial. Uh, if an excruciating underwater death is what you desire, who am I to stop you? Remember, you'll find my token in a chest at the bottom of the lake. I'll be waiting for you at the water's edge in the extremely unlikely event you survive. How exactly does going for a swim test my ability to slay the Minotaur? Minotaurs work in mysterious ways. Seems like a lot of hassle for a token. Looks like I'll have to get wet. You don't have to do this. There's always something to live for. No, not for me. I've got nothing. I am nothing. This isn't even armor. It's my mother's third favorite serving tray. I'm a failure. A failure! You look like a warrior to me. Even warriors feel fear. There's no shame in it. Fear helps us survive. It's temporary, but honor is not. You'll find no honor jumping off this building. Only death. Talk to me. Honor. Yes. <sighs> My village. <laughs> We're poor. We get little trade. Fewer visitors. We're dying. I was chosen to kill the Minotaur, hoping it would make us famous. Put us on the map. Save us, baby. But look at me. I'm no Minotaur Slayer. I got robbed by a tiny tour guide my first day here. Minotaur Slaying isn't for everyone. Even if you go home without the beast's head, 
There will be another way to save your village. Yes, you're right. All I have to do is lie to everyone. Do not put words in my mouth. Why not? They're good words. My people are kind and loving and somewhat dim. Really? Hard to believe. I just have to make them think I've killed the Minotaur. Our village will become a shrine to me. The new Theseus. Mori is the magnificent slayer of the Minotaur. We would prosper again. Sounds like a dream. A dream where people care about my village, trade with it. That's a dream worth having. A little look convincing. Like a regal, conquering Minotaur killing hero. Best steal the Pefka leader's shiniest armor. Oh, and a leader weapon. Something I can say I pride from the Minotaur's cold dead hands. <laughs> cold dead hoofs? Don't worry. I'm here to help. Good. 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 Is there anything else I can tell you? An axe that looks like you've looted it from the corpse of a Minotaur. Is there a merchant for that in Pefka? When I first arrived, I heard rumors of a legendary axe being kept in Fort Lato. That's where you'll find what I need. What's so special about this axe? They say Theseus touched it. Twice! I'm sure Theseus handled many axes in his time. Well, yes. But he touched this one twice. Now that's the sort of axe you'd expect a Minotaur to wield. You mentioned the shiniest armor was the Pefkan leaders. Where does he keep it? Somewhere safe. Somewhere where little street kids couldn't steal it. His house is well guarded. I'd look there. I've heard enough. I'll find you an axe and armor worthy of a true Minotaur Slayer. Just don't jump. I wouldn't think of it. This is the armor Maurice described. It is shiny. Ah! 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 Ah!
right there. I don't recognize the fletching. You, why are you here?
This is the axe the man from the roof wanted. It's pretty heavy. I wonder if he could even lift it. Now I have both items the man on the roof needs to bring glory back to his village. I better get this back to him before he actually jumps. What's happening over there? I'm back. And I have everything you need to successfully lie to your people. Oh, fantastic! And fear not, friend. This is a lie that will save my people. It'll put us back on the map. Well, um, can I, uh, can I have my items now, please? Of course. The axe and the armor are yours. Just uh, turn around for a second while I change. You look heroic. Like a warrior who could kill a whole family of minotaurs. Really? You're not just saying that. No, I mean it. Even I'm a bit intimidated by you now. Wow. It's okay, guys. I'm a hero now. I'm coming down. I feel pretty heroic.
What trouble have they gotten into now? Their mother's going to feed me to that damned Minotaur. This must be the pre-trial of accuracy. Hmm? Oh, yes. This is the pre-trial of accurately finding my Malakas sons. Your sons? This doesn't sound like a trial. Have you tried raising sons? It's perhaps the greatest trial of all. Only by completing the world famous and totally legitimate pre-trial of accurately finding my sons can you proceed and face the Minotaur. So, if I find your sons and make sure they're safe, you'll give me your trial token? You'll get my token and my eternal gratitude. I'll find your sons, pull them out of whatever trouble they've stumbled into. They usually hide in the fields behind me. May I suggest you prepare yourself mentally and physically. This will be your greatest trial yet, brave warrior. If you need me to find your sons, I'll need to know more about them. They're little sheets. Wondrous, beautiful, but sheets all the same. They won't listen to me, but perhaps they'll listen to you. You said your sons are likely in the field, but I'll need more to go on. They climb on everything. Buildings, towers, the crops, all the crops. They're exactly as tall as my sons, creating the perfect place for them to hide. <sighs> they never listen when I call for them. They listen to me. Don't worry. I'll make sure your sons come home safe. You must find all three of them. And hurry, there's only so long my wife will believe they're off praying at the temple. in the letter about the arena fight. No. Everything you brought was really expensive. 
So my battle will probably kill you. I'm sure. Home. Now. You're safe. Go home. And listen to your pater when he calls for you. Yes, miss. Sorry, miss. I still need to find the trial master's other sons. <laughs> You'll never... Go home to your father and do as he says, or I'll tell the Minotaur where you live. But... Uh, I hate you, miss Dios! And that's the last of the sons. My sons! You brought them home! You were right. They are little shits. Mm. I can't believe they listen to you. Consider the trial of accurately finding my sons complete! Of all my victories, this is the one I'll be most remembered for. That's all three tokens. Better make the embers of the warrior's rest. Warrior whose bravery may nearly equal our own. I have your Malaikas tokens. No more games, no more schemes to rob me of my Drachmi. It's time to slay a Minotaur! Absolutely, Mistios. Uh, no problem. But first, perhaps you'd like to buy back your exquisite, uh, finely crafted trial tokens? This offer will expire in... Uh... By the gods! They uh, make for fantastic gifts. Strange, but I would like something to remember Pethka by. Then all that's left is facing our star attraction himself, the Minotaur! Are you ready to meet your doom? If your pre-trials are anything to go by, yes, yes I am. Well, good, great, I, I, I want you to fight the Minotaur. You'll find the beast in the depths of the Cave of the Bread, on the Zithki Plateau. Two other warriors have just completed their pre-trials. You can speak to them for more information. They'll join you when you're ready to, you know, die horrifically. You've come all this way. Join us. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have a very important uh, pottery lesson to attend, so... <clears throat> And you must be... the warriors. Look, brother! The final member of our Minotaur hunting party has arrived! When the beast sees our assembled might, he will moo miserably in fear! Do Minotaurs moo, or...? If it's all right with both of you, I'd like to strike the killing blow. Or can we at least say I struck the killing blow? I'm willing to haggle down to... 
played a key role in distracting the Minotaur while allowing the killing blow to be struck. The Minotaur is a mythical creature. Only someone just as mythical could slay it. You're talking about me, right? The only myths about you, little brother, are the ones Butter paid to keep quiet. <sighs> this can only end well. Are you ready to ride? Let's slay a Minotaur. Leandro says it lives in the Cave of the Brave, on the Victi Plateau. I say, let the Minotaur tournament begin! If the Minotaur eats humans and lives right next to the population of Pefka, how are they all still alive? Perhaps the diet of Pefkans disagrees with you. Good thing, brother. Let us dip our blades and reach oil and onions. <laughs> More glory in beast slaying than in bread making. Whatever lives down here must be a monster. until someone tells me what's going on. No need for more blood. Just keep your horns away from me and tell me what's going on here. You can take off that mask. Leandros? I told you nothing is what it seems in Pefka. I'm happy to refund any expenses incurred. Please, 
it's my daughter, uh, Mara. Masked men are holding her captive deep in the canyons of Titi Plateau. Masked men? What kind of masks? Uh, uh, white like marble, bleeding from their eyes. Horrific! The cult. They control everything in Pefka. Lured champions from all over with the promise of Minotaur slaying glory. Only to swindle and ambush them down here in the dark. Honorless. If I don't do as they say, uh, Amara dies. If I take off my mask, or tell my wife, or ask for help, she dies. Tell me about your daughter. Amara. The sound of her laughter is sunlight on my skin. She is joy, Mistios. One night, the masked men took that joy from me. They needed my silver tongue to lure wealthy warriors to their trials. In Amara, they found all they needed to control me. You said the cult, the masked men, have your daughter in the canyons of Dicti Plateau? There are a lot of canyons. But only one holds Amara. There is a place called Zakros, an ancient ruin, and the bastion of the masked men's power. I go there every night, hoping to catch a glimpse of her. But I never have. I, I fear they keep her underground, where she'll never see the sun. How many men have you sent to their deaths with a speech and a smile? Thousands. More. But their lives will never outweigh my Amara. She's all I have. But now I have you, don't I? You! You can free her from those Malakas masked men! Tell me, whose face would Amara wish to see rescue her? Mine? Or her father's? Be brave, Leandros! Bravery, yes. You're right, Mistios. No matter what, I must be there for my Amara. Please, will you join me? We will save your daughter. Together. Thank you, Mistios. Meet me outside the ruins of Zakros on Vitki Plateau. That's where my daughter is and where I must be. These masked men, they're organized and unafraid. Their greatest weapon is no blade, it's our greed. Every merchant, every man and his slave are enough drachmi out of this charade to make Midas blush. The myth of the Minotaur makes us all rich, and we turn a blind eye to the cost. Gah! Why is this suit chafing? I used a whole bottle of olive oil. Hard to breathe in a costume this magnificent. By Zeus, this fair doesn't breathe at all. You are the Minotaur. You are the Minotaur. You are the Minotaur. You are the Minotaur. Oh, no, no, the last one was better. I'm coming, Amara. Don't be afraid. And don't you be afraid, Leandros. She needs you. Alone. I'll stand with you, Leandros. No matter what happens today, Amara will be proud of her father. I see you're still a Minotaur. I faced many of the Greek world's deadliest warriors in this mask. Granted, I was just there to distract those warriors with my roars and threatening gestures so they could be ambushed and stabbed from behind. But wearing it makes me feel brave. And you look it. It would be an honor to fight alongside the mythical Minotaur. Yes! Yes! Moo! Don't do that. They must be keeping her underground. With hooves and heroics. We shall save her! But Zakros is well defended! How should we proceed? Quietly. I'll try to sneak in. Stay back here until it's safe. I can be stealthy! You have horns! <sighs> Go! I'll do my best to distract the guards. Where is your honor, you best malakas? Look at me! Over here! 
Bless me! Where is your honor, you best malakas? The Minotaur calls you! Come and face me! Show me your bravery! By leaving the safety of your impenetrable fortress and coming out into the open! Ah! That noise is annoying! Look at me! Over here! Everyone! It's the Minotaur! And he's... he's so angry! Right now! At you! To the death! For It's the Minotaur! 
around her. No, please. I've been quiet. I didn't do I anything. I haven't cried. I, Let I, me I go. can't be silent. Please. Take cover. Please. I'll find you when I know it's safe. Thank you, there thank must. you, thank you. me. Well... <gasps> Is that the Minotaur? Show her. Father? You're the Minotaur? Maybe don't tell your mother. I waited and waited and... You weren't going to leave me here, were you? You were just working on your plan to save me, right, Pater? Of course. I was always coming for you. I just... To find something first. The people who took you, if there's anything you overheard, anything that could help me stop them. While I pretended to sleep, their leader spoke of a meeting place in Kidonia. I wrote down all the masked men's whisperings. Hopefully, something in here will be useful to you. My friend, we're heading to my wife. She keeps a vigil for Amara at the warrior's rest. Come with us. See the gift you gave. Our family. Together. After you. Amara! Amara! You're alive! Mother! My family. You did this? Thank Leandros. When the time came for action, he charged. Despite being outskilled and outcostumed. He fought courageously. Your husband is no coward. Perhaps there are some heroes here. No one's ever won the prize of Pepka! Everyone who's died facing the Minotaur has had their drachmi go in the vault, growing year by year. And now, a tiny but well-earned portion of it is yours! Thank you for a... a tiny portion? Of course! Less taxes, reasonable operational expenses, and... I'll make sure all of it reaches your boat, Mistios. You've earned it. <laughs> oh, and... Hmm. This is for you. A coward doesn't deserve to be the Minotaur. You do. Quite a compliment. Pefka is no longer safe for us. Freeing Amara will bring repercussions from people who are not known to be forgiving. But we're alive. And whatever future we have, we have it only because of you. Be safe. has existed for decades, and will exist for centuries more.
That must be Skura. What can I show you? Varnavas told me about the arena. I should give it a go. <coughs> Do you hear that? Yes, I hear it too. What do you think it could be? It's the sound of someone lying to me. Or someone humoring a frail old man. They tell me you could hear the crowds from all the way out here. The thirst never quenched. Thirst for what? Combat in the arena, Mistios. Life and death in their purest forms. Love, hate, glory and ruin. All there for the crowds to devour. My name is Skura. Cassandra, I found a note that mentioned this place. And you. It called for fighters from all over the Greek world. These walls no longer shake because there are no heroes of the arena left. The crowds don't care about real fighters anymore. They just want blood. But you, Mystios, you could change that. You could make them care. And win riches beyond your wildest dreams, of course. If you were to fight and win. Perhaps I can make the arena walls shake once again. Good. Tell me about the other fighters. As a new contender, the choice of opponent will be yours. No slaves here. No hapless criminals. Just warriors with a resolve to spill blood for the crowd. I see. There are five current champions. Each one more bloodthirsty and ruthless than the last. You'll need to defeat each of them if you are to be called hero of the arena. Tell me more about the arena. It's been here for decades, but recently it's changed. As most things do. True. Fighters today care only about Drachmi, not honor. And the crowds now... Come only to watch one warrior got another. They're jaded. They want more than just killing. They want cruelty. My blades and I are ready. Choose your opponent. I don't want to fight right now. As you wish, miss.